everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my video today. As promised, here is the review and demo on the We Are Memory Keepers Happy Jig. I showed this, I posted it up on my Facebook page and lots of you um, requested for me to do a demo on it, so that's what I'm going to do. So I saw this when um, We Are Memory Keepers launched it, which was about three, four months ago. Um, and I then forgot about it and then I was reminded by um, Trimcraft, they shared it over on their Instagram. So I went and had a look and I managed to order it. So basically this is creating letters and shapes using wire. So um, I was just, yeah, I just thought it's something really different to have in your craft room. It, it just offers you a, a different dimension, a different look, texture, all that kind of thing to your paper craft. So there's many ways you can use it. I'll give you a couple of examples. I've done it on this um, scrapbook layout. It's the happy there that you can see. And I've attached it with brads. I initially attached it with hot glue and then when I posted this, someone put on my YouTube, use brads, brilliant idea. It worked a charm. So now that's not gonna go anywhere and you can see there. Um, and it's just brought lots of dimension texture to that um, mixed media page that I done. So that was one one way of using it, and that was using the word happy. Then I've made this uh, gift tag here. Again, it's using the word happy. Now this is using the wire. This is thicker wire from my own stash. I wanted to see how it worked with the thicker wire, and you can use it. You have to change a few things, but I will show you how to do that. Now this one I've stitched. So if you can just see, just here, my lighting's not great tonight, but here I've just used a needle and thread and I've stitched around the bottom of the H there and then also the top of the P just in there, I've also stitched. So that was a really neat way and then I just sealed my tag with another die cut tag on the back just so it was nice and neat. Um, I think I prefer this way to using a brad just because it doesn't then take away from the word itself um, so it's another easy way to attach it to your paper crafts. Now, you don't have to use brads or stitching because in the book that comes with this, they basically every single one can be made into a paper clip. So they give you the additional um, length and directions to show you how to make just the little kind of um, extra bit of wire, I guess, just for you to slip it over paper on gift tags, in your journaling, all that kind of thing, in your planning, um, and you can make these all into nice decorative paper clips. So this is how it comes. Obviously I have used it, so it's a little bit tatty, and you get three wires that come with it. Now these are really soft, thin wires. They sell these separately, and they also sell the Baker's Twine wire. Now I haven't got that yet, um, it's something I am looking to order because I just I love the look of Baker's Twine um, and it's the striped Baker's Twine so it comes in blue and white, red and white, green and white and I think pink and white um, and I just really like that so I probably, I probably will end up getting that as well hopefully. But these are the ones you get, so they do have to be this thin, um, I think it's one mil, let me just bring this in just to show you here, um, yeah they're one mil these ones. So again, see what you've got in your own stash. If you've got some one mil wires and you, you're, you're thinking about maybe buying this, I'm sure they will work. But the softer the better. Um, I'll bring in my bigger wires in a minute. But you get these pliers, really nice. They've got a rubber handle, really easy to, they're not um, stiff at all. They've got a really nice, easy movement. Um, and then this is, this is the, the, the happy jig. So let me get rid of that bit of packaging there. Let's put that down. So this is how it comes. It's got a really strong little clip kind of lid here where everything is kept. These are all your little um, pegs. Now the easiest way to describe using this, it reminds me of battleships. So if you imagine, you know, you've got your, your, your player that you're playing against here, and this is your little kind of, you know, wall to hide where you're placing all your ships. It's, it's the same process, it's K13, and that's how you, you line this all up, and we'll get to that in a minute. Basically then, these will sit inside there, and it all snaps in nicely, so it's really easy to store away. Um, and you could even, you know, pop your wires in there, I guess, you know, and it, it would all be stored away that way as well, in a plastic bag or something. But it's, and it's lightweight, there really is 
nothing to it, but it's very, very strong um, plastic. And then this is the book that comes through it. Now, initially, when I first opened it and looked through, I thought, oh gosh, is, is this actually going to be, you know, quite confusing? You know, you see all this. But all it is, when you break it down, it's also in um, four different languages. So actually, just the top paragraph here is all you need to read in English. So don't be kind of thinking, oh my God, there's so much to read there, because there really isn't. Um, and then it just breaks it all down for you. So they give you a couple of little um, pictures here at the front, so you can see there. There's the hello. They've actually pierced it through the card, the, the beginning and the end there as well. And then you can see there, there's a paper clip with a nice little Polaroid photo. And that's been, st uh, yeah, no, it's been stapled onto a wooden block. So it's actually, they've made that into a photo frame. Now, if you go across to We Are Memory Keepers, they will have all these um, on their YouTube and on their blog. So I will explain it to you. You can obviously, you know, look through this. Um, if you did again have it or you're thinking about getting it but here is all of the different things that you can make so these are the paper clip or just decorative shapes to use in your paper crafts um, the color here where it changes so this kind of um, beigey stone color that's the extra to make it into a paper clip so see here it doesn't have it so that's just the normal if you just want that shape if you just want that heart then that's that's fine. But if you do want to make it into a paper clip, it tells you the extra bit here. Now down at the very bottom here, it tells you how much wire you need for each thing. Now the top one in black, it's saying you need 13 inches or 33 centimeters. Below, it says 16 inches or 41. The below one is that extra wire you need to make it into a paper clip. So the color of this piece here is the same color as that measurement. Okay, so it's just an easy way for you to know, oh yep, yeah, I want to make that one into a paper clip. So you go down to the, the more stone coloured font there, the writing, and that's the size you will need. Then it also goes along and tells you what you will need to make it. So it's telling you that you need one of these large pieces, and that starts in E18, so that's always your start one. And this is your clip, this is the piece you clip your wire into. And then for the rest of it, you just need seven of the smallest. And that's all there is, is large, medium, small. Okay, and the, and the clip, which I'll show you. Again, here it's telling you, there's the wire, 10 inches if you just want the normal one, or 13 if you want to make it into a paper clip. And then again, it's telling you there all and how much you would need. So you've got lots of different, um, shapes and symbols that you can use here you've got the pineapples and the cactus the camera i've used the camera here i quite like this one there's the camera and i've made that one into a paper clip so it just comes off the top there and you can see the paper clip piece i just pop it there next to it that's that extra bit but if you don't want that then you just end up with that there and it just literally works as a, as another just as a paper clip would like so so these will look great in your planners, great on scrapbook layouts, um, you know, pocket letters, all those kind of things. They're just nice. It's a nice additional piece to have with your paper crafting. Um, you know, it's, I'll be completely honest. Is it something we all desperately need? No, but we're crafters. And if you're anything like me, I just like to have other things. I like to be able to think, oh, it needs something a little bit different. Oh, I know what I'll use. I'll use the Happy Jig, for example, and I'll make some wire, you know, art. So, you know, it's you've got to see if it's going to work for you. I like gadgets and tools, so I knew I wanted this straight away. This one's really good. This is a star. I love the paperclip look of that one. Now, this one is, it looks like a paperclip already, but then they're giving you the extra piece there to make it into a paperclip, because you'd look at that and you think actually that could, but the whole purpose is, is that's actually a wand. So you want that piece to show, the paperclip piece would be behind that. So, got the coffee there with the steam, Christmas tree, bats, so great for, you know, all your occasions. Pretty butterfly, that bulldog looks really fun. I done cute, and it's here. There we go. And if I just sit it against some some white card here, and you can see there, there's the word cute. Okay, now I've not made that into a paper clip, but now all I could, all all I would need to do is just stitch that there and maybe there, and then I can use that on a scrapbook layout. I think that would be really good for that. So I'll keep that one safe. And then you've got hello, love happy and thanks happy is my favorite i do like that one i think it works really well i tried thanks i think i need to practice a bit more with that one i wasn't 
I wasn't convinced with thanks. I thought there was just maybe a bit too much going on. Um, haven't tried love yet and I've done hello, which you've, have you seen hello? I don't think you have, no. So there's a couple there, but I will play around anyway. So yeah, so this is what it is. So let's get into a demo. Let's do the, okay, so first of all, I'm gonna show you how to make this leaf here. So it need, you need 18 inches, because I wanna do it with the paper clip. Okay, 18 inches of wire. So I've gone and already just cut that there, all right? So now it's telling me here that I need two large ones, which I've already just grabbed, then, two of a medium including one being my little clip there at the top and then 14 of these little ones here so let's just move all that there and then I can grab all these ones here so one two three four fourteen fourteen okay so I've got all those there close all that up so first of all start where the arrow is so that's my starter this little one with the the bit of the, the clip <laughs> so it's 21 e so like i said just like battleships 21 e and when you push it in you've got to push it so it makes that click because there's two parts to the pin so there is the let me just come in a bit here i'll show you here Let's see if it will focus here we go so you can see the peg has got a thin bit and then this thick bit. You've got to push it so that thick bit goes into these holes here. So you've got to push it right in. So um, it's, it's not hard, but I would say if you're doing this a lot, you're probably going to start to get a bit of a sore thumb. So um, yeah, it, it, if you do have problems with your wrists or your hands, um, that you might, you may find this a struggle. It could be quite difficult at times. So then you just want to follow where your wire next goes. So it goes through that clip and it's coming down to this little one here. So that's 20k. So 20k. Like so. Again, just push it so it clicks. And then it goes up to this big one here. And the center of that is in 18h. And that's what you want to do is just go around 18h just there and you just need to start going around until you've got those all in so I'm not gonna listen you know have you listen to me do all of these it's a bit boring 14 L but I think I'm showing you you know enough here for you to kind of gather what it is that you've got to do this is the only time consuming bit really is kind of getting these all in place so I'm just going to carry on and get my leaf finished Okay, so I've got that all in place. I've got my image there. Just don't want to get the glare of my lamp. There we go. And I've got my wire all ready. Okay, so just follow the arrow. So we're coming in from the top here first. So you need to push your wire in the clip and it will stay in there. Okay, and then you literally just follow the, the root of the wire. So it's going down and under this one here first. So like I said, the wire is very easy. It's just a bit fiddly with your fingers. You've got to, you know, kind of push it around so it's going around the top here now I'm going down around this one under over so you've got to have a bit of patience a little bit fiddly oh I've missed one so and you'll see there as well so I've missed this one here which is 15 P 15 P so it's good so don't worry because you will because you're following it's not until you actually follow the pattern properly that then you'll realize if you've missed any so then I'm coming up with that one there and then down got to get two in this bit here so you get two in that bit and then around and again two in there back up again and now we've got to come down into this middle one to make the paper clip part so down push it all in there it will all fit <laughs> and then back up so I've got a bit extra so that's one thing I would probably say is they still do give you maybe a one and a half inches extra again so once you start using it more and you're confident with it then you can I would say you know don't have to be you know exactly 18 I could have had 16 and a half for example 
Um, so now I'm just going to trim this, it's trimmed just below that large one there, so I'm going to do the same. There we go. So that's kind of wastage now, which, you know, would be better if it's not. Um, okay, then when you lift it out, take the piece that's clipped first and then lift everything slowly. It will pop out now because there's those little kind of um, tracks on the middle of each peg and that's what it's clipped on so you just have to lift them off that but once it comes out and then you just want to go and flatten it all down keeping its shape and this one looks a bit odd because obviously we've got this bit but that's the paper clip so that's going to go behind and you're not going to see that so now if I bring in a piece of card and pop the paper clip piece behind there we go really fun you could pop some ribbon on that you could have a nice tag hanging from it could have a few of them and have it as a card base you know there are lots and lots of ways to use these and the ideas that we are memory keepers give you are brilliant so go over and check out those as well because there's there's great inspiration but I really do like it I yeah I'm I do like it I think it's nice I would put maybe some ribbon some green ribbon or something on there I don't know I will see but I like that a lot so that's that one so let's do, oh, let me show you how you take it all out. So they recommend that you get a large one of the pegs, turn it over, and then push them through. And you can see they go shooting off. But what I would say is some are really harder to do than others, but I'm only finding that um, after I've used it a few times because I think the harder ones are the ones that I've not used yet because some are easier than others. So... Again, it does put a bit of pressure on your thumb, um, so it's, you know, just kind of think, think that through, really. The last thing you want to do is buy it and then find that it's too painful for you to use. So, you know, that's, that's the, the one negative I would say with this is that it is very stiff, but I think it will loosen up the more you use it. So now I'm going to do a word. So let's do love. I think it was because I haven't done that one yet and I'm going to use thicker wire. So this is the wire that I have as well. And I just want to show you that you can use this. Um, but obviously, yeah, get used to using the softer, thinner stuff first. Although this is very soft. This is very soft still, but it is thicker. So for this particular word here, you need 31 inches. So I've already gone and cut my thick purple here. Now I'm going to go and get it all all the pegs in place so I need two large, nine medium and six small. So I'm going to go and do the image first. Okay so if you're wanting to make the paper clip then you start from where the stone colour image is there. If you're just wanting this as this image here then you start from the arrow through your clip there. But I'm going to start here because that's what I want to do first. So I'm just going to pop my wire in, come down and around and then I would go into that clip but it won't fix, this is thicker wire but I don't need to, I'm going around it anyway. So then I'm just going to come up, you can hear me keep hitting my lamp there. And then round and down. Remember you're not going to see this piece underneath because it's the paper clip part. So now I'm just coming up and around here, back down and then around again, figure of eight down and around so it's still working quite well I just don't know how well it's going to read and then up here and then around around and down that's it yeah that's it so again look how much I've got extra I might have cut a little bit extra actually and I know you've got to twist a little bit around there I wonder what those ones are for but they're literally just to keep you that in that shape I guess so that bulky bit underneath is all paper clip, so you don't need to worry what that really looks like because you're not going to see that. And then we can start to mould the rest. So just carefully, just prise it all off. Just do it all bit by bit. Oh, it will come off or go flying off, like so. And again, just you can manoeuvre it a little bit, but that bottom piece is my paper clip. So I don't really need to worry too much how that looks. And that's going to probably be more like that anyway. But you want it to be flat so it 
sticks to your paper properly. But other than that, it's quite good actually. So now I'm just going to wrap this twice around like so to do what it said there it's just to kind of finish the heart and then I can just take that off there and just again you've, you know work it because once you pull it off it will not kind of come out of shape but you've got room to be able to change it up a little bit there but I think I think that's pretty much there so let's try this against got this white piece of card here so there's my paper clip part and that's I think it pretty much yeah you can see that that says I think I need to do my owl a little bit better there I think maybe that's better there we go and again you can stitch it you can do whatever you want with it because it's wire it's very very workable but there's the word love just as the image shows. So it does work with the thick wire as well. So um, yeah, I mean that's all I'm going to really show in this demo for today. You'll see me use it and obviously I can revert you and direct you even to this tutorial. Um, but yeah, would I recommend it? Yes I would. I think it's a nice addition um, to have in your craft room. I'm just going to take all these out. Okay, so yeah, it's a nice thing to have it in your as a nice addition. Is it for everybody? Um, no, I don't think you know. If you're maybe just a paper, um, maybe just a card maker, you probably wouldn't find that you'd use this within your card making. But certainly, if you're into um, planning, scrapbooking, um, you know, making gift tags, that kind of thing, then yeah, I think you will you will like it. I think it's a good. A good addition so I'm really pleased with it I like how it all stays nice and compact and then I've got a plastic tub with this and all my wires to go in so everything is kept together but um, in terms of my little bits here that I've done so that's my happy birthday I've got my love I've got my where did I put my other ones here they all are here so I've got my leaf I've got a gold one there that I've done as well and I've got that one. I've also got the cute, which is somewhere, which I've put down. So yeah, oh, there it is there. I really like them. I think they are very, very fun. So I hope you've liked this one. I hope I've given you kind of a fair, um, you know, review on this and demo. And um, let me know what you think. And like I said, I will be using it definitely, especially in my scrapbooking. I love it and I love the stitched the stitch look of it there. I really like that tag and how that's all come together. And I like that I can use the thicker wire as well. So, um, and hopefully I'll get that baker's twine also. So there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave any comments and I'll be back again with another tutorial tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.